Hey, praise the Lord. This is another day. Kumba me chupere ni anema. Ya ni barabarani. Chum chukutia barabara ya Thika Road, Super Highway. Ni barabara ina kogana traffic. Wooo! Hata na hata ikikuwa tu vile ilivyo tu hivi. Ina kogana traffic sana. But nimesha kujua kula ni kitu moja na kwa hii life. Hata kwa traffic. Kuwa tu na patience. Hii life ina kotoka tu patience tu. Una kwa tu patience na vitu kwa life. Kila kitu ita kwa tu poa. Yani at the end of the day, muse mage hivi. Hata ukikuwa kwa traffic for how long. At the end of the day, bado traffic itafunguka tu. Yani, kuende aji, yani lazima kutafunguka, lazima utaenda home, kama ni job, kama wherever you're going, utaenda tu. Even though utakanika umechelewa, lakini utaenda. So hiyo kitu inanipatia gagi. Nini ina ya makubwa sana ya kumu Ya kutopani kiani Fikiri yaani sijui nini Ni over panic mbaka ni fikiri ya Otherwise Unajua just the other day niliona msi ya mentumia Message kwa Facebook Haka niuliza swali moja ya uzushi sana Hati Wele bibi unolewa lini Hati ni mwona sijui flani flani ya meolewa We unolewa lini Nika seba Wele Waliolewa, walio, wal, wan, wanao o wanashana eh? Wanao o wanishana No Everybody has their own timing in this life You know, misi hezi olewa kwa sababu ya mtu mungina ata kuolewa ama mtu mungina meolewa No way Ama mtu wa mepata mtoto, sasa pia mini pate mtoto, no way I don't live because of people, I live by, because, by the grace of God And I live by the purpose of God Pia ilikaa sana kuda kumalizo hiyo Kwa tunaingia pangani Kitere mukaga hivyo Sao unasikia? Ati msia na niuliza mimi ati mimi Mini taole walini Really? Just because watu wanafanya kitu Sia tukuzama mini fanya You know if you do things because of Of what people are doing that's why unakuta vitu mingi zina fail because that's not what you are called to do at that moment you know even though mungu amekupati anayema ya kukaa kwa hiyo time God is faithful God is faithful at the right time wada nitaolewa tu kwa ni kuolewa ni nini mamangu wana yambega kuolewa si kuzaliwa nitaolewa tu kama nime okoka ni nini kubwa mungu wa hizi nipatia ni ndoa nitaolewa lakini I think si kukua ready at that moment unaelewa hakuna aja kujifanya hati nimeingia maali just because watu wana hafu wama fans pati watu mapresha sana mapresha unapati ya mtu presha unapati ya mtu presha kwa nunataka mtu wanda kaishi kwa petrol station ni kupa mtu focus just mind your own good business and you pray for people you know the best thing that you can do for people is just just to pray watch and pray for them don't ask someone at where uta ole walini at where uta zalini oh mesha zalisha watu wangapi oh mesha oesha watu wangapi you know it's always good to to appreciate and and to encourage someone not to to show someone that where ume delay sana yeah oh me delay sana oh me kaa sana yani ni kama sasa where una pumwa ewa ya Watu wale wambao wajaolewa, wale wameolewa, yani unapumaliza hewa yao. No, it's not that, it's not supposed to be like that. Kama umeolewa, buwana sifiwe, asante. Kama umeza mtoto, umebarikiwa, asante, buwana apewe sifu. Kama uko pale, unangojia kuolewa, hallelujah, buwana sifiwe. Kama uko pale, unangojia mtoto, buwana sifiwe, kwa sababu itakuja tu. Eh, kongara hapa hivi, so... Misi ishigi anda presha mseo Hata kuna mtu wata li niokoa Mieta ni kiokoa dhambi Sikuwa ni meokoka Kuna mtu wali ni ubiriaga before that Naona sasa hii ni liokoka Ni memjua yesu sasa Unataka kwanza kujifanya vile sasa We unataka kukontrol maisha yangu I thank God for the Holy Spirit The Holy Spirit is so faithful That he is always there for us With us And to teach us To guide us to show us, to remind us. You know, guys, you know me, mimi niliokokea gawapi, by the way. 
Mimi niliokokea hapa. Niliokokea hapa town kwa kanisa inaitwa Maos. Eh? Nilikuwa na Pastor Lemi. <laughs> Hallelujah. Kwa hii building iko hapa hivi. Hii. Pasone kio. Hapo ndio niliokokeaga hiyo church ilikuwa pale juu. Pale juu. Hapo, kwa hiyo church hapo hapo ndio niliokokeaga. Imagine. Hapa ni Globe Roundabout. Mimi niliokokeaga hapo. Hapo ndio nilimkiri kwamba Yesu Kristo ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Na hadi leo bado namkiri kwamba Yesu ni bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Si kwa majeshi wala silaha, si kwa ujuaji wangu. Hey. Si ati mimi ndio mnoma zaidi ama mimi ndio nilikuwa na faidi zaidi. Hey. Babu Mungu alinipenda. <laughs>